Crazy Sounds, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike, the explosive one, and we're starting a timer. Bing. Uh, 10 minutes or less. Dude, did you hear about the Mona Lisa stunt? <gasps> Lisa moaning. So Mona. Some guy. Lisa. Some guy, some guy pie gave Mona Lisa a cream pie. I hear. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. That's the first cream pie she had in a long, long time. time. But luckily, they had a screen on it. it; didn't get damaged or whatever. Okay, I figured yeah. it was uh, like protected in some. Yeah, way. I mean, I'm glad they do. Like the chances of something like that happening, you're like, okay. But yeah, he was dressed up like an old lady in a in a wheelchair, wheelchair and had yeah. cake, and just yep. stood up and slapped it on it. And I'm like. Who, why? why? Why would you want to do that? One why? of the most famous paintings in the world. You want to throw pie on it because he was a, he was an influencer. Yeah, he, he was an influencer. His ass straight to jail. Yep. I'm, look, I'm not gonna be the old boomer. It's like these goddamn influencers are ruining America. Right, right. right. But I'm gonna be like, this is probably one of the stupidest things that you could do. Right. Exactly. And to piggyback off of that, I saw another story uh, in Dallas, right up the road. A, right up the road. a guy, a 21-year-old guy, I'm not sure on the time frame because it said it was like 10 at night, so I don't know if he broke in or there was an event or something, but he got past security, he smashed a glass case and broke $5 million oh, yeah. worth of shit. One of them In was the a museum. Greek vase that was worth from like 450 BC. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. he was mad at his girl. Mad at his girlfriend, and he broke into a museum and like smashed some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he broke yeah. a glass case and then broke like, I think it was like a an old vase, a plate, and something else. But yeah, yeah the value of that was like $5 million. Yeah. Jail. That was here. I think the other one that... that the Mona Lisa that happened in France. Yeah, yeah, because that's yeah, that's where it's the original. Story. And then you got like the uh, this is like all going coming around to like people just fucking up art and like <laughs> these like prices to artifact. Yeah, dude, why are like I don't <clears throat> like the lady who did the Jesus painting. Oh, remember oh my, that one? The, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna restore the painting. You're like it just turned into a smear face. Like oh right? man, they memed that shit forever, yeah, dude. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god, but yeah, man, it's I just can't like. Why would what, you do that? What like it's okay. I am not a history buff, right? Yeah. But I will say when I was in school, I found history fascinating because it's like some of the stuff that happened was like that's really cool that some of this stuff went on. That's fair. I think as time has gone on cuz when from the two th from 2000 to now, the last two decades, right? So everyone who's just basically an adult now. Mm. There's the re there's been no real like history. It's been <clears throat> no, I mean, Grant. There's been there's been some stuff. There's been nine eleven. There's been things like that. But it's all all of the big major things that have happened in the world are majorly technology based. It's advancements of technology. It's like maybe medical advancements. Like yeah, there's been some wars. There's been some things. But if you think about the twenty to forty years before that. All the different things, or even prior history, it's like you don't. It's like you don't recognize the yeah. value of the history as much as like history is a lot about perspective, right? right. So to us, Pearl Harbor is history, right? Uh, to us, World War Two is history. To the next generation, uh, Desert Storm is going to be history. Uh, this pandemic that we went through, this is this is a part of history. Oh, absolutely. This I mean, is it's still be going on. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be in books. It's going to be in books. Yeah, people so, in 80 years are going to be like, the COVID-19 thing that went on for a billion years because yeah. nobody would stay at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The war in Iraq is history. It's going to be like... Yeah. The uh, Ukraine war. No, Although yeah, that's... One. But the, see, it's, it, I feel like that's a very isolated thing. It is, but it's still like history. If it spills over and becomes World War Three, big history, oh, right? Oh, man. Well, you know what? I'm not touching that one. Dude, got to say, I when this war, war first started... I was like, I think Putin's dying, and he's fucking going for a hurrah, and there was a report that just came out that he was getting treated for cancer in April, and I was like, uh, power grab before he dies, what's he uh, give a fuck it happens to the country? That was my tinfoil hat theory, like, that he's uh, dying, and if that comes true, I might have been right. Anyways, we, we, we don't know, we don't know, we yeah. don't know. But anyways. But yeah, like I said, history is all about perspective, so things that happen to us while we're in the moment we're just like oh wow this is really effed up that this has happened but like a lot of these wars and a lot of this, this whole pandemic thing 
it's all doc. We have a lot more documentation than we did uh, years ago. Right, right. Like we're getting, I'm getting live feed images on, you know, through my phone of like actual tanks shooting at each other, like stuff stuff that won't even show in the news. Right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can you you can find live streams in Ukraine of yeah. like shit going down. Oh yeah, yes. I've seen some graphic images that uh, you know. That's Wish graphic. you hadn't seen. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. It's uh, it's interesting, but but I feel like I feel like. The farther we get away from like old school history where everything was very tangible. Okay. And a lot of history now is intangible. It's all digital. It's, you, you know, it's happening, but you can't like hold it. It's like the value of these old things, people don't care as much. No. Of like classic artwork. So what? It's from 1400. I don't give an F. Who, who gives a shit about that 450 BC vase? That shit is 2,500 years old. <laughs> and this dude broke in and smashed it because he was mad at his girlfriend. Uh, like, what does that say about like... Yeah, he's going to be brought up on some charges for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. What what about the guy in the, with the Mo, with the Mona Lisa? Can you really be brought up on charges if it didn't cause any harm uh, to the painting? Yeah, I think so. Because the intent was there. Your intent was to hurt it. That and even be. if you say, oh, I knew there was a screen and I knew it wouldn't, there's still a chance the screen malfunctions. It's still a priceless piece still, of art. Still vandalism of some sort. Right, right. Or yeah, attempted like, vandalism. Dude, if I walked into, if I walked up to the GameStop and smashed pies on the front window, I could still get arrested for vandalism. Yeah, yeah, you know what true, I mean? Like, that's and that's true. just a window. You know, it's it's. Why would you go to GameStop? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, f you, GameStop, smashing pies. You're part of the patriarchy. Give me better credit for my games. Oh man, right? Yeah, but who who sells games anymore though? Yeah, and and, well, and that's why I think I think GameStop's transitioning. They're they're starting to sell computer parts, Mm -hmm. all sorts of shit. They're actually, I saw a thing online too with them. Um, not only they're getting into like NFTs, blockchain, yada, yada, but they're also, I think, uh, they're going to start hosting the newer stores they're building. They're having almost like tabletop gaming nights and shit. So they're, they're expanding into all games, anything game related, computer, tabletop. That's probably best to change oh, yeah. your business if, model. If, but I honestly think, dude, if they open up this NFT marketplace where you can buy and sell your digital items from games or buy and sell your digital copies of games and stuff with partner with Microsoft and Sony and all that, that will, they will be the next Amazon. Because that shit is, that's my biggest complaint I've always had about games is like, why am I buying a digital game for 60 bucks that I never can get anything back for it ever? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so do you think they're going to start NFT in games so that you can't I think they are. I 100% do. Oh, and, and, and it's going to be all the in-item games too. So like if you buy a skin on Call of Duty, you can maybe move that, that skin to a different Call of Duty game. Or if you don't play it anymore, you can sell all your skins to somebody. Now you might only get... 50 cents for 20 cents whatever but you can get you can sell these all this shit that you have sitting on your xbox that you own to somebody else to put towards something else I, that's exactly what they're doing it, it's it's so funny to me too because like i just keep hearing about oh no all my apes are gone and it's like these yeah. people just keep losing their apes and did you know that you could use three slurp juices on a single ape jonas you didn't know that did you i didn't i don't think you understand Three slurp juices on a single ape. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of people missing and losing their apes, and there's like hundreds of thousand dollars just being taken from these people. Yeah. Well, and I don't want my newest copy of, uh, you know, Super Mario All Stars to get taken from me yeah. through the NFT marketplace. Yeah. Well, the problem. How is, can you ensure the safety of my intellectual property? Uh, people are always going to get stamped. Scammed. Okay, well, that's. Thank you. That was the right answer. Yeah. Because 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 here's the thing with that sort of stuff. You have a wallet that has a key phrase that's 12 words. 12 words out of all of the English language. So th- to be able to, to hack that in the right order, next to impossible. Yeah. But if you give someone that phrase, they have access to everything and you're and, gone. And they will take all And they will take apes, everything. All but your slurp It's the juices. same thing as everything else. Don't give out your password. Don't give out your phrase. Don't give out your credit card number. Don't give out your social. It keeps happening, man. Dude, the oldest adage of time. Do not give away your personal information. It keeps happening. And you can't, dude. Only stupid can cure stupid. So, uh, since we are talking about art and NFTs, Seth Green, I yeah. believe, he was actually making a show on television, animated show. Yeah. Kind of looks kind of like Gorilla, because you've seen like the board apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he was making a show, but it was starring his NFT ape that he had, uh, that he had purchased. Oh, nice. Well, guess what? The ape got stolen and resold 
and he no longer has the intellectual Uh-oh. property. Uh-oh, and see, there you go. Yeah. So if he makes a show, up, the show's already, like, it's in its final process, final stages. If he makes the show, the other guy's like, hey, you just made a show of something that I own. It's This is the ape I own. Yeah. So now it's like, is it copyright? Yeah, I mean, he has to buy it back or pay him rights. But he's like, it got stolen but, but, from me. But He doesn't want to pay for it. I think they might, I think event, like right now it's a very gray, and we're over, but that's fine, we can go, because I have something to say too. <clears throat> eventually it's going to be like stolen property like they the you can file a claim and get it returned yeah. to you because it's just like a pawn shop if you steal my laptop and i have the security number the the serial you sell it to a pawn shop someone else and then they have it in the pawn shop the pawn shop legally has to give it back to you because they bought stolen property but as a personal buyer yeah, anyone, dude. If you buy stolen property, the per if you can prove you own, and with the blockchain, it's all provable. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's provable that it got taken from him and that he that somebody else bought stolen property. It's not their property; they bought stolen property. <sighs> Anyways, the real last thing I was gonna say is uh, I've been following the, part of the GameStop marketplace. Uh, they make it really easy to make NFTs. I think I'm going to NFT some of the crazy town uh, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, it costs cents on a dollar to make some. I'm not so, mad so at it. So I think it. I'm going to NFT some, a few of the crazy town things. Just so we have a couple <laughs> NFTs out we there, dude. We got NFTs out there. Yeah, now, yeah, it'd right. be funny. I just think it'd be funny to be like, go to the GameStop Marketplace and buy the crazy town NFTs. They'll be like, a buck. <laughs> no one's going to do that shit. I, and I don't know if I'm really going to do it. But I was like, oh, that would be funny. Ha ha. Because we talked about NFTing the episodes. If I put an NFT of my penis, Jonas, it'll sell like hotcakes. Yeah. Yeah, you can't put adult content on the, uh, the GameStop what? Marketplace, though. It'll be pixelated. <laughs> Fair. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe to CrazyTown.com. For Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.